I'm Bill Hayes, the Air Quality Coordinator, Boulder County Public Health. We've received many questions about volatile organic compounds, or VOCs. Public Health worked with our colleagues at the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, as well as the Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment. Both agencies have mobile air monitoring vans equipped with an array of instruments that can collect samples for a wide range of gaseous pollutants, including VOCs. NOAA performed two drive-throughs and CDPHE one. The highest levels of gaseous pollutants were recorded on the first pass and were comparable to typical urban air pollution. As expected, levels decreased with each successive drive. NOAA has agreed to perform two more drive-throughs once the county-led debris removal effort begins to ensure that the process doesn't liberate additional VOCs, though this is not expected. Many residents have purchased low-cost air monitors that can be hel helpful, but it is important to understand their limitation. Keep in mind that there is no assurance that any individual monitor has been properly configured, deployed, or maintained. One of the most popular manufacturers of low-cost air monitors recently offered an additional VOC sensor on their standard particulate monitor. The manufacturer cautions its customers that VOC sensor is still experimental and they do not feel confident enough yet in their VOC readings. You can now access real-time air quality information and sign up to receive alerts at boco.org slash marshallfireaq. If you still have questions or need additional assistance related to air quality, please contact us.